Pokemon, Pocket Monsters. But what were they called before Pockets were invented? No, seriously, everyone calls them Pokemon, but we have games like Legends of Arceus, which show an ancient Pokemon era. Well, what about were that? Magical beasts, mythical monsters? Well, that leads into today's theory either way. Today, we are going to be discussing the idea of Pokemon being a type of invasive species and how it replaced all animal life slowly over the course of time. So, if you're curious about the cute little cleffa you have being a viral alien life form, stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Theory, the show where Professor Oak really isn't a professor, and going to the gym doesn't mean pumping iron. Unless you're in Duford Town, which is a literal gym. Pokemon are an invasive species that slowly, over time, replaced all normal animals, insects, and sea life. Humans have forgotten about it as 99% have been replaced in our modern era of Pokemon, post 2020s. You might think to yourself, this is insane. Pokemon are just based off of real world counterparts. But what if Pokemon evolved to replace the real world counterparts? Taros and Miltank, for example. They do the same thing as bulls and dairy cows do, but much more efficiently. Psyduck is just a psychic duck, and Squirtle's just a turtle that's far more speedy. And Slackoth is, well, Slackoth is just basically a sloth, but maybe not the best example. The point is that of many Pokemon, you can often find animal counterparts, or a legendary mythical counterpart, as in Gyarados and the legend of the carp swimming upstream. Younger viewers might say, mm, but, but, Mr. Poke stuff, there are no real world animals in Pokemon. And I would agree if we're talking about the modern Pokemon. It's been 20 plus years since Pokemon's released that 20 more years of Pokemon to destroy native animal, insect, and aquatic life or evolve from it. For example, in an early episode of the Pokemon TV series, we can see real fish, not Pokemon. In a similar episode, we can also see Ash and company dining on massive amounts of food provided for them, which includes meat. A very dark thought might occur in that that meat must be Pokemon and you could be right referencing Pokemon like far-fetched that would be a wise conclusion however it can't be denied that there's a literal lobster on the table that's mm. not crawled on it's a lobster look at it and to further the idea there are cakes which require egg butter and cream so did the eggs come from combuskin or a few more examples show ash dressed up as a dairy cow not miltank a kabutops attacking a large Large, unknown fish fossilized by time, a giraffe swing decoration set, Ghastly turning into a mongoose to defeat Ekans, Meowth eating a dead fish, and Pidgey Odo eating a worm. At one point in time, the show even makes jokes about Ash and company fantasizing about eating Magikarp, but failing because it has nothing but scales and bones. Now that we know without question that there were real creatures in Pokemon, real animals, insects, sea creatures, did they just evolve into the said Pokemon? Perhaps some of them did, but I have a more realistic theory on this. Several Pokemon are confirmed to be from outer space and even other dimensions, such as Soul Rock, Lunatone, Star You, Star Me, Clefairy, the entire Clefairy line, and uh, their literal aliens, all of the Ultra Beasts, the Elgem line, Eternatus, and the gods Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. These Pokemon all came from space, and not only support the idea of invading Earth, but also becoming an invasive species. Star you replacing starfish, for example. But that's hardly all the animals, right? Just like a starfish? Are you kidding me? What proof is that? That is because I believe Deoxys, who was here since early Generation 3, is the true culprit. Alien life and things from space carry bacteria and viruses, which would then infect our organic matter here on Earth. Deoxys itself is a space virus that mutates Mutated. Listen to its Pokedex entries. Ruby. The DNA of a space virus underwent a sudden mutation upon exposure to a laser beam and resulted in Deoxys. The crystalline organ on this Pokemon's chest appears to be its brain. Sapphire. Deoxys emerged from a virus that came from space. It is highly intelligent and wields psychokinetic powers. This Pokemon shoots lasers from the crystalline organ on its chest. A space virus. Deoxys 
Jaxa survived the atmosphere and then spread this virus. But what virus? The only virus that we know in Pokemon is called Pokerez, which was also introduced in Generation 3. Ironically, the Pokerez virus just makes things stronger. When a Pokemon has Pokerez, it gains double the effort value from battling. E.g. fighting a Magikarp will give you two speed EVs rather than one. Effort points gained from vitamins and feathers are not doubled. It only affects them when they earn the EVs. The infected Pokemon can then infect other Pokemon with the virus for a period of one to four days. However, the Poker Rus timer can be delayed by several methods, such as placing them in a PC box. Poker Rus has a 3 and 65,536 chance of being generated on one of the player's Pokemon after a battle, making it rarer than encountering or hatching a shiny Pokemon. That said, if any of the player's Pokemon are infected, the Poker Rus may spread among Pokemon in the player's party after any battle. Let's say a bull contracted Poker and slowly became stronger over time, eventually breathing its DNA into its lineage and creating what's known as Tauros. We do not know how long the Axis has been on Earth, only that we encounter it in 1998, the same time that the Gen 1 series takes place. Arguably earlier, since the Super Nintendo was the new hot system on sale in Generation 1, so possibly 1991 to 1995. However, the Axis could have arrived much sooner and slowly over time has been exposing Earth to its virus. People see when an animal contracted poker rust. It became stronger over time. They expose all of their animals to it so that their animals can become stronger and they can benefit much greater from it. And over time, after breeding, the animals gradually became Pokemon. So there you have it, folks. This is how one alien life form came to Earth and slowly over time replaced all animal, insect, and sea life with Pokemon through one virus. It doesn't even take into account the idea that these creatures, these mutated creatures and these Pokemon would just battle, attack, and destroy the animals, insects, and sea life that naturally are still alive, and over time just eradicate them, leaving only their own species alive. The Pokemon species, or the variants or evolved forms of their original counterparts. It is survival of the fittest at its best. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this theory. It was suggested to me online by several people and so I wanted to cover it and I presented a pretty good case that Deoxys basically created all Pokemon. Rolling out what Arceus and Mew and all of those legends say, this would be a good explanation to how Pokemon actually came about. What do you think? What are your thoughts? You let me know down in the comments down below and I greatly appreciate it. If you would like, subscribe, check out our Discord and my socials are linked down below. But until next time, you guys feel free to submit your own Pokemon. Pokemon theories, and I will see about covering them in the future.